This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good morning, my Real News Media TV family. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning, and I'm wishing for everyone a wonderful and a productive day. And in the news this morning for September 28, 2023, Westmoreland, a man killed by police, was innocent, says a family. Family members of Romario Dawkins, one of the two men who were fatally shot by police in Spring Garden, Westmoreland, on Wednesday afternoon, are professing his innocence. Dawkins' brother told the news that his brother had a limp and is no violence producer. The brother, who wished not to be named, said that Dawkins was assisting his friend Dean Woolery, who was also shot and killed, to transport some materials to build his house when the incident happened. He is hoping to get justice for his brother. My brother and the next youth, I travel back around material truck because obviously I have a belly horse. Mm -hmm. So when they come down now, the material truck passed before, before the police passed the material truck and grew on the panic axle. Him, the person I want to call him and tell him, say, yo, see some police are coming there. You understand? The man, they, they get the car and I say, man, everything good. We, you know what I mean? We, we don't have no reason for running from the police. By the time police can reach them, they be a shot. I'm sitting right here, son. You. Be a shot. You turn the front seat, father around, then come back from the front and the man say, watch and then kill my son and then kill my brother. No reason, man, didn't have a gun for them officer. Believe me, for my brother, he's a broke up. He's a broke up, you. You understand? Him not, him not do wrongs. He not do wrongs. Everybody say, what are you born and grow? We don't do wrongs, father. Believe me. We don't do wrongs. Nothing ain't killing man. The man didn't have a gun. The man didn't have a lead sheet. The man didn't have nothing. Just kill him and them for no reason. Pass. When a jail with man, they pass. When a bop bop with them finger. As police got kill me more than more than ten somebody up on the road and the man didn't pass and the man didn't do it. Everybody see see a man over there. So can't see a two. Different man can't see a two. Man didn't pass. When a bop 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 with them finger, brother. How them for do that, brother? They kill the two man them innocently, brother. They want to so we can't even come down. They can't see man them. We can't even go see him on him. He lock up him on the car and take him on the key. Go on with him. What make him lock up him on the car? They kill him on him for no reason. I tell him they are too innocent. You them. I can't swear upon my life. Upon that. For my brother, my man didn't do nothing. Believe me. I didn't mind that I help you out. There's like a thing that I can't help you out. In any little situation. The man just getting you to what he is. You, they are fine. You just migrate. He make that happen. And he did for migrate after. You understand? And the man dead left in you right now. So the community is shaking by this? Community is shaking. Well shaken. Well, well shaken. I told no you. The man in the front seat, right in the same barn and ground. Father, live up this up. The man in the, the driver's seat, our brother, right in the same barn and ground. Right in the same And your brother is not the gunman? No gunman. No badness. Not, not, none at all. Remember me to them. No gun. The man foot broke up. The man can't even run for the badness. The man is a broke up you. Your foot broke off when your foot shot and one. So you walk and limp. You walk well slow. See so for my foot, I say mash up to bite, mash me up to. Bite, mash up the whole away. You understand? I bite back me the pan. I come from school, you know. Bite back me the pan. I come from school, and the ride crash, you I'm dead and I'm surviving. Life machine me the pan all long, you know. Me I tell him, brother, I do no badness. I'm help you out. Any little thing I'm help you out. I'm not do badness. I'm not mixing or nothing. Believe me, I'm not mixing or nothing. Just help me help out a youth. We are born and growing. There's nothing for help out of you. We are born and growing. The material check go up in the yard, and you want to go pay the man. Then. So it's nothing for you to scare the man up. There. You understand? It's nothing. Two men go up there and come back down. You know. Come there and come back down in the car. You don't pay the man. The material truck comes up right to the in front of them. You know. The material truck. You know. They're in front of them. You know. Right to say the material truck comes up. You know. Be a shot around there. You know. Nothing in the man. You know. Nothing for them. You can't save for my life. Nothing. Now yeah, tell them. Anything we, anything we find down there, they put it on them. Because we can't go down there. And they want paper spray my grandma, they want paper spray my grandma for no reason. Just because they want to see their little, they want to see their little nephew, their little grandson. Not any man, any man, yo, believe me. Dawkins' grand aunt, Paulette Balls, is also seeking answers. Balls has said that she wants to know why her grand nephew was killed by the police. But I want to know what right them have to shoot him. What did he do for them to shoot him? Balls questioned. Balls has also refuted the claim from the police that there was a confrontation and the firearms were seized. It was no shootout, no shootout. According to Zone 4 Commander for Little London and Negril, Deputy Superintendent of Police Sean J. Mitchell, the men died in a confrontation with the lawmen. There was a police operation in the area sometime about 12.30 p.m. 
and the operation resulted in a confrontation and the two men were shot and taken to the hospital where they were pronounced dead, DSP Mitchell reported. Wanted man killed in alleged gun battle with police in Old Harbor. A man who was on the police's most wanted list after being linked to a spate of murders in several parishes was shot dead in a police operation in Old Harbor St. Catherine on Wednesday morning. He is 26-year-old Daniel Ferguson, otherwise called the Fry Eye of Sukaba Gardens Old Harbor. Ferguson, who was being sought for at least 10 murders, was fatally shot at his house sometime after 6 a.m. during a major police operation. A woman was also shot in the operation and is receiving treatment at hospital. It is reported that a police team went to a house in Sukaba Gardens in search of Ferguson, who had been linked to killings in the St. Catherine South, St. Catherine North, Clarendon and the St. Andrew Central Divisions. It is further reported that on entering the house, the cops held on to a male occupant. The cops were reportedly questioning the man when they came under gunfire from the fugitive who was hiding in the ceiling of the house. The policemen returned the fire and the Ferguson fell from the ceiling. A Glock pistol was taken from him. The lawmen also seized a second weapon and several rounds of ammunition hidden under a mattress in the house. The second weapon was found inside a bedroom occupied by a 24-year-old woman who sustained a bullet wound to her leg during the gun battle. The Independent Commission of Investigations is probing the incident. Guys Hill Police seizes several bags for road traffic breaches. Several motorcycles were yesterday seized and the riders prosecuted by the Guys Hill Police in St. Catherine in an ongoing effort to tackle breaches of the Road Traffic Act. The operation saw riders being prosecuted for no license, unlicensed motorcycle, riding without a helmet, no insurance and other violations. The police say increased action is being taken as the bikers continue to flaunt the law. Some residents recommended the police's drive to keep the streets of the rural township safe. Those are prosecuted are set to appear in the St. Catherine Parish Court in October. For several months, the Guys Hill Police have been using a zero-tolerance approach against the indisciplined motorists. Driver escapes being swept away in Charlton Gully A driver narrowly escaped being swept away in the Charlton Gully in St. Andrew on Wednesday. The news understands that about 3 p.m., the driver was traveling in his car from Charlton Avenue towards a Shortwood Road amid a downpour when upon reaching the Charlton Gully, he attempted to cross the flooded roadway in the vehicle. An eyewitness video of the incident shows the vehicle getting into difficulties in the floodwaters before being washed down the gully. A police source told the news that the driver managed to escape after the vehicle's journey downstream came to a halt in shallow waters. The source said the driver eventually was able to drive out of the gully as the water receded. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.